In this tutorial, we will be learning how to work with the pen tool. It's called workshop number three. The icons I provide are in JPEG format and they're pixelated, so we need to vectorize them. I start up Affinity Designer, go under File, New, and in this case, I add a different page width. I say 210 by 210 millimeter. I leave it as RGB and I say no margins included and zero bleed. Great. Now I will add on my image. I either go under Place Image Tool or File Place. In my third workshop folder, I have my icons ready. Open, click and drag. I fill the whole format. Since I don't want to move this file around, I have up here the possibility to lock my layer. The layers are locked and I am not able to move it around anymore. I add a new layer. Down in the Layers panel, I have two options. I have a regular layer, a vector layer, and a pixel layer. I would like to add a regular layer. I call it Icons. Taking the Zoom tool, I use the microphone, drag a bit with the mouse. Now we get to know the Pen tool. Pen tool or P key in your keyboard, I select it. And you can see up here, it asks for a fill color or a stroke color. So go in here, add on a color, I would say, Black for right now is fine, but if you prefer to work in a different color to see it easier, that's another possibility. With the red selected and my pen tool active, I can see up here I have different modes. I have the possibility to use the pen mode, the smart mode, the polygon mode, and the line mode. Let's get to know the pen mode first. What I like to do first is draw this curved line using the pen mode. I start with click. Click and drag and you can see right away I have a red curve and I can adjust the handles by dragging the handles out or inwards. Don't let go with your mouse and you can adjust the curve to your template below. Click and drag and at the end I probably just say click. Now I would like to change the curve and the stroke width. I can either do that over here or I can do that over here. The same panel opens by clicking on the stroke up here as over here. I would like to change the pressure. I go in here. I would like to have the width up here a little wider and the width down here smaller. Click on pressure, the pressure points open. Drag the pressure down, you can see the whole line gets thinner. I would like to start large, go up here a little bit, back into pressure, add on a point and you can see as, as soon as I add on a point it gets thinner. Then around here have another point. But now that my problem is I would really like to get thin down here and then I move that down and now I can see the beginning changes as well. The only way I can separate this point from the one to the left is by holding down the ALT key. So before you select this point, hold down the ALT key and then you drag it downwards. Now if I don't like the ending to be round, I have the opportunity to change the gap. I can make the cap round or edgy. Now one important fact, when you are done with your shape, always hit the escape button at the end, so your form is set. Then I go into my pen tool again, hold down the space bar, move that up. Now I would like to use the smart mode to draw the top part. Now before I start drawing, I need to make sure that my stroke width is going down because it's at four point, go up here, Go down to maybe 0.4 and also with the pressure make sure you reset first otherwise you have this uneven line. Reset. I select my smart mode and start adding my notes. Click, 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 click. You can see now I add on the notes a little bit closer because the machine adds on the little handles. All I have to do is click and I go to the beginning and I close off the shape. Then I go over here and I say fill black, go into stroke and make it invisible. Now I'd like to show you a different mode. Again, my pen tool, go over here and I use the polygon mode. The polygon mode is ideal for straight lines. I start with a simple click, go down here, click, 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 and click. And you see again, I just need to always make sure 
When you work with pressure points before, make sure that you hit reset and then also alter the width. Also, don't forget, now I didn't hit escape button. Always click on escape before you start a new shape and I can start drawing the new shape. Click, 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 escape. I could also make the fill, of course, black, stroke, transparent. While I'm here, I can also select my stroke with my selection tool and say right away black. I've shown you how to draw with the regular pen mode. This time I would like to show you a different option to add on the rubber band mode. These two are both selected. I foresee where my curve is going. I didn't see that before. With this rubber band option, you kind of foresee what you're doing. So I recommend that, especially for beginners, select the rubber band mode in addition to your original mode. Now click and drag, much easier. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and click. Don't forget to hit escape. I try this shape, click, click and drag. Much easier for me to guess where this curve is going. I want to have this overlapped. I hit the escape key and the last. Now you can see this curve is open, this curve is open. I need to combine these later on. I'll do this in my second tutorial where you will be getting to know the node tool.